What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is a main deck Monday, and uh, we're going to continue our Crimson Invasion, I guess, I don't know, review, whatever. Uh, and today we're looking at Savali GX. Now, with Savali, there's a like almost an endless way of combinations we could play this deck and that's because Savali is a color type I know he looks like still like far away, but he's actually a color type. Uh, he's actually a really interesting uh, Pokemon uh, Savali is a colorist like I said 210 HP and has the ability gyro unit your base Pokemon to play have no treat cost Which is really nice. Uh, everybody has free treat. He's got the attack turbo drive 120 you attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon So he has energy acceleration, which is really nice He's got that Rebel GX. His attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, so another really good attack here. So um, with Rebel, if your opponent puts down like four Pokemon, you can do 200 damage, which is really nice. Take a knock out of nowhere, which is cool. Maybe use it as your late game attacker, or late game attack as well. We're such in a like a Bridget format that you could kind of abuse it with Cervale. Um, and then also the energy acceleration, so it's really, really nice. And the reason why I say you can play like a ton of different things with this is because since these colors and the colors energies, you can literally play in any kind of deck. And that's going to be the question here. What is the best of Valley? I know I've seen Dark. Um, you got, you know, Dark. You can partner with that with, you know, Evil Tall. You know, you can do the Oblivion variant. Um, you can maybe, I don't know, anybody that gets like energy at Discard Pile, you can maybe go like Fighting. You can go like Carving if you want to. Uh, Carbink has the same kind of attack here with Diamond Gift. Uh, oh, I only attached to one fight to your fighting Pokemon, so that wouldn't work. Um, so that couldn't work. Um, I don't know. I mean, probably some more. I know Evital was definitely one of them. Um, but yeah, I think in this very this version today we're gonna play is the metal version. I think this is probably the strongest version, uh, just because you have these really good attackers. These like backup attackers that make it a lot better. I guess in like f Dark you have like Hoopa. Um, which is really nice and fighting. You could put like Buzzwall in there. Um, maybe send some knockouts of Buzzwall and send up. I think like any kind of like energy, uh, you kind of just partner with it. Uh, but yeah, carving. I forgot that I only attached to fighting Pokemon, so that makes it a little bit different in my head. But still, I think the metal version is coming to out to be the better one. Um, you could play Lightning maybe with Reiku. I know Reiku does power it up. Um, any kind of Pokemon, you get a Reiku here. Um, it's got that Booming Thunder. Uh, it's one of your bench Pokemon. So you could use Reiku instead of the Registeel. Uh, but today we're using Registeel. It's got Turbo Armor, does 30. You touch a basic energy from Disco Pilots, one of your bench Pokemon. And Iron Hand for 90. We're really not going by Iron Hand at all in this state, in this, uh, in this game. Uh, but besides that, we have two other good attackers. We have Cabalion. Cabalion does have the Revenge Blast attack, 30, and it does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Uh, so once they take, take 5, you do 180 out of nowhere. Uh, with 4, you could do uh, 120, 150, Choice Band, 180. So it's really good attacker. Um, just kind of take those last few prize cards if needed. So Cabalion's a really good attacker. And then you also have Scizor. Uh, Scizor's going to be really good against uh, decks that are weak to metal. Um, it has a Gale Thrust attack, 50, and it is, if this becomes your active Pokemon, you do 60 more, so 110, so 220 for those Metal-type weakness decks like the Ninetales and Gardevoir, so that's something to really note about the Scizor. Uh, the only bad thing is you can't bridge it for Scizor, uh, just make sure you remember that. Uh, we're playing a 4-3 line of Savali, uh, 4 type Null, I hate, th I hate that his name is type Null, I hate it so much, uh, but Armor Press does 30, Slash Call 70, uh, and also the good thing um, with Registeel, since he does 30 damage, you can like one shot like Vulpix and one shot um, Routes, which is really cool. Uh, but one Ranguru, uh, Psychic is a good attack, 60 plus 20, 60 plus 20, not 60 plus 30. You'll see why that's a big deal. That I'm saying that right now. Uh, but Instruct's really good. Um, three Lele, of course, to help set up, and that's me all the Pokemon I hear. So three Field Lord, get rid of Tools, uh, Stretcher. Um, Special Charge, get back DCEs. You really don't need Super Rod because you do have like Registeel and um, Savali. Four Ultra Ball, uh, two Ace Roll to pick up a damaged Pokemon, which is really cool because you kind of do like a rotating thing with your Savali. You can pick up like a damaged Savali and uh, reattach the DCE, then you use the attack, get another energy in the bench, and it kind of rinse repeat with Ace Roll. We'll see that come into play uh, for sure in game number one. Uh, Bridget, of course, is broken. Four Guzma, four and four Sycamore. Uh, three choice bench, you just do an additional 30 damage. Um, three fighting, uh, two fighting memory and two psychic memory. 
Now, if you haven't seen this before, uh, these memories make Savali any kind of type. So Savali is now a fighting type, which basically like uh, beats Drampa. Uh, Drampa is basically the main one there. Uh, Zork is another one as well. Fighting memory can't hit for weakness on a Zork, which is really cool to see. You kind of punish the, your opponent that way. And Psychic is going to help you out against the Buzz, Buzzwall, Bezwall, whatever the card is called. Uh, Espeon, you can hit these guys for weakness, which is really nice because now they're a Psychic or a fighting type, which is really something cool to see. And with 120 times 2, you're doing 240, which is going to knock them out of nowhere, which is really nice. Uh, but for DC, a 10 metal, 10 metal might seem like a lot, but I want to make sure those en energies in the discard pile to be used with the turbo arm and the uh, turbo drive. Wait, it's not turbo arm, is it? Is it turbo arm? Yeah, turbo arm and turbo drive. There we go. Uh, but yeah, this list is based like a, a, a bunch of YouTube videos I've been watching. I know I've been watching, let's see, uh, Rare Candy, Omnipogue. Um, I think there's some more I can't really remember right now on top of my head. Uh, that kind of got different ideas from. I see some lists playing like Necrozma, which I'm not really a big fan of. I think it looked like their, their idea was like you Necrozma them, and then you could be Fire decks. Uh, really, I don't know. I think you just like take the loss. You just have to lose some decks and uh, just take my loss to Volcanion. Uh, I think Volcanion is going to kind of die off now since Guardian is definitely like the best deck of former right now uh, since it won regionals. So you had to be kind of crazy play against Guard, play uh, Volcanion, a heavy Guard format right now. Um, Let's see. I think I saw somebody playing like a Mew. I think that's a rare candy. Uh, Eric was playing a Mew in his list. Um, but I mean, there's no wrong way to play this deck right now, especially since it's like the early stages. And since he's a colors type, there might be like a better way to play it out there. I know the heaviest build is metal. And I mean, when testing this deck, you'll see why. Like a Bally is such a good attacker. Like it kind of like, you can see why it's good. And then like Scizor is going to help you take down one of the best decks in the format. And then with these two kind of memories, you take down the other best deck in the format with this Drampa Garb. So it becomes a really good deck and a very interesting thing to see. And it's going to be interesting how this is going to play out this week coming up because it is the uh, the European International Championship. So, And I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Crimson Evasion is legal um, this week coming up. So we're going to be able to see uh, some of this stuff come out and see what's going to happen. Yeah, is this weekend the 16th? Yeah, this weekend is the 16th. So it is the first weekend of Crimson Evasion being legal. Uh, the International Championship for London, I think, I'm pretty sure it's going to be streamed. We'll have a video Saturday, at the, or Friday or Saturday, giving details about that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see some new decks come out this weekend. I imagine Savali will be one of the big contenders coming out. But guys, there we go. I've done rambled on for seven minutes. I do apologize. But guys, let's see the deck in action. We're going to see really two interesting games with this deck. And uh, we're going to see today on Monday, Monday how this all works out. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so we're against Murphy 444. Uh, looks like they're playing some kind of grass deck. So this is Glisspot. It'd be very interesting how this game does play out. Because um, we're not going to one-shot them. They're not going to one-shot us. It becomes kind of an Ace Roller kind of war. Um, so we won the coin flip. Alright, that's very nice. Yes, we'll go first. And down to our turn. Wow, they're playing... What the heck? Why are they got fire and lightning stuff? They kind of confused me here. Uh, but we do have red still. We have Scizor as well if we need to put that down. Might not be too relevant in this matchup unless they do have that psychic weakness that we care about. Uh, but we do got Tapu Lele. We can grab two Type Nulls and a uh, Rangaroo most likely. And there's a Wimpod. Uh, let's put down Type Null. We'll use the Lele Wonder Tag. Yes. Uh, we'll grab... Uh, the oh, our Bridget is prized, unfortunately. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So, oh, two of our Sycamores are prized as well. We could grab it in here and give us a new hand of six, which is not a bad idea, because uh, I kind of want to keep the Guzman in our hands. So, I'll grab it in here. I think that's fine. And what I'm gonna do is put a Metal Energy on this bench type null. I'm gonna go for it in here. Uh, we we'll get the Savali out next turn. We can just have Free Tree Dredge still start swinging. Uh, we get another uh, Savali, another type null, and we have an Ultra Ball next turn for our Savali and a DC in our hand. So put down type null. We'll press done. We could Ultra Ball for Rangaroo and just kind of hope we hit like Savali. But rather just guarantee the Ultra Ball next turn um, for a uh, Savali. Take a knock on the one pod and start going crazy. Now. I wonder if he's playing fire, because he's got fire sleeves. It'd be pretty dangerous. I mean, luckily, you know, uh, Savali is weak to fighting, so we don't have to really worry about that too much. So we see Lele, and will this Wonder Tag find three uh, Pokemon with Bridget, maybe? I hope they don't go for in here, and we're pretty bad, since we do have Ultra Ball, two Metal Energies. But we'll see. <clears throat> we will see what happens. We do play a lot of Metal, so we can easily get those in Discard Pile. Um, to start using with the uh, Savali's attacks. And there we see N, unfortunately, coming to his hand. 
Maybe should have Ultra discard Delve Metal. Um, just to get us a valley just to get a Ranguru and put some metals in the discard pile. But um, like I said, I'd rather keep the Ultra Ball the deck so that we can use it to find ourselves a Savali next turn. So we see Ultra Ball going to discard the end of DCE. Alright, maybe he's going for something else. Um, he did discard a DCE, which is very weird. Uh, you think you'd want to keep that in his deck. And there's Topic Coco. Uh, we might see a flying flip here. I don't know how relevant that is. Uh, 180, 210, I can't see that math really figuring out. Uh, so Coco coming down, does he have another DC in the hand? He did have one, and then he discarded it. So uh, we see retreat to top of Coco. <clears throat> Let's see what else does our opponent have here. Uh, we see Grass Ginger going to win pod, so we will not see some crazy uh, stuff going down there. We see Choice Fan, and we see an N. Oh, he did have an N. He had two Ns and opted to... This card a DCE, which I'm kind of fine with. Uh, we get a DCE, two fighting memories, which is pretty much useless, and the Rangaroo. All right, so pass on to our turn. We find a Metal Energy. So we'll put a DC on Type Null. We'll put down a Rangaroo. And we'll go for a second more. We just really need to find this Savali. We'll be good to go. And we find one. All right, there we go. There's the Savali. We'll put that down. We will retreat into the Savali. And we'll put down another Type Null. That way we can kind of cycle between three, three of them, and we'll go for that turbo drive. All right, so we do 120 here, knocking out Topic Coco. We'll put a Metal Energy on this bench, type Null, and uh, on to our opponent's turn. Uh, we'll take a knockout here. There's a DC going underhand, and what he can do is, yeah, he can sweep a Gliss Pod, but then we can go for the Ace Roll, pick up our Hurt Savali, uh, sip a new one, but he's going to promote the Tapu Lele. He really wants to get make sure he gets that uh, full attack off here. Uh, with his attack. So there we see the glow spot coming down. Ooh, a rainbow rare. Uh, he wants to make sure he gets that 150 for fresh impression. And that's going to be a big mystery. All right. Um, so we see a grass and you're going to the active, which means he can retreat to Gliss Pod. And we see a heavy ball. I'm going to find another Gliss Pod here. And let's see what does. He... Yeah, probably just another Gliss Pod. Which is kind of scary because now he has two Gliss Pods, but. I think we're kind of fine. I just wish we had more metals in the discard pile. So we go for this turbo drive next turn. We can actually power up another type null or another Savali. Uh, but we see Glisspot coming up. We will see a first impression for 120 here. 150, sorry, for the uh, the good old uh, choice fan. So on our turn, we find a Guzma. So I think I am just going to ace Sorola. Yeah, I'm just going to ace Sorola the active. <clears throat> Put it back into my hand. Send up the type null. Okay. Uh, put the value in the active. We'll put a DC on it. Uh, put another type null down, and we'll go for a turbo drive for 120. Now the question for him is, does he have his own Ace Roller to pick up his guy? Unfortunately, we have none of those cards in our discard pile, so we can't power up another type null kind of thing. Uh, so if he does, if he does have a, 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 a an Ace Roller, be pretty bad for us. Uh, well, there's Ace, Ace Roller. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so Ace Roller going to his hand. i uh, going to send the Gliss Pod, put a Grass Energy, first pressure 120. And, uh, this is the problem here, because, yeah, I mean, how, how do we combat this? I, I don't 100% know. So, Bodybuilding Dumbbell is going to give it, oh my goodness, uh, 250 HP. Okay, alright, so 250. Uh, how do we deal with that? I don't know. Alright, so let's see here. Um, yeah, I don't know. So first impression for 120, okay. Um, what we could do is knock out the wind pod, and then maybe he can retreat. Uh, that could be a thing we could do here. Um, it's not the best play, but it's something. Uh, so I'm gonna goose up the wind pod, I think. Uh, set up our own type null. Okay. We will then retreat back into the uh, guy. Put a DC on the bench type null, and we'll go for a turbo drive here for 120 go down to four price cards and this is going to force him to have another energy maybe an ace rolla uh so we'll go down to four price cards here okay so we'll go to four let's see what do we find we find a sycamore which is good uh for us for next turn uh maybe dicks more cards what we really need to find is a Kabalion. Maybe Kabalion will be our answer. All right, so we see uh, Tapu Lila coming up. Does he have a Grass Energy? A First Impression would knock us out this turn, unfortunately. And the bigger question is, who do we send up when he knocks us to Valley? Um, do we send up Type Null? Do we put a Metal in the second one and just hope we hit something? Um, it's not too, not it's not unrealistic. Uh, so we see Stretcher going to go in his hand. And uh, let's see. Probably just put the light. Oh, yeah, just put the Wimpod in the sand. Okay. So, Wimpod coming down. 
Now, if he doesn't find a way to treat this Lele, what we could do is just goose him up the Glisspod, uh, swing, and there we see a Type Null coming up. He's going to set up his Glisspod and swing into it, and I think I'm okay with this. Uh, he's just going to take a non-EX knockout here, and he only has three cards in hand, so we can put a DC on this Type Null. Uh, swing on the Valley with Turbo Drive. Uh, we will not be able to power up anybody, but we can put the pressure back on our opponent, uh, which is really nice here. So, yeah, we'll set up the Savali. Now, actually, we set up Regist... Eh, it really doesn't matter. In the end, we're going to be attacking with Savali. So, yeah, we're going to set up Savali regardless, okay? So, on to our turn, we find a Field Blower. Now, I'm actually going to keep that on his... Uh, I, want, I want the Body Build and Dumbbells on there so he doesn't get the free tree right now. So, I'll put a DC on the Type Null, and I'll put the other Type Null down. I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. And I'll go for a Turbo Drive here for 120. And then what we can do next turn is Field Blower off that uh, Body Build Dumbbells, put a Metal Engine in this guy, Sycamore, trying to find a Savali, and take a knockout on this Glitz Pod. Um, unless he has an Ace Roller here, then if he has Ace Roller, then we are in trouble. Um, yeah, if he, get, if he can get an Ace Roller here, then we're in trouble. Oh, baby, there's Glitz Pod. Does he have the Ace Roller in hand? Okay, bodybuilding dumbbells on the bench, okay. Does he have an ace roll? That's what we care about right now. Because uh, they can't retreat the active. Uh, no! My goodness! Okay, okay, alright, I see you, opponent. Alright, so, goodness, okay. Alright, so grass is active. Oh, goodness. Alright, wind pod come down. And now we're in a pickle, because I really want to use the field. Oh, my goodness, yeah. The other ace roll was in his hand. I mean, they did play four of them, so it's not it's not too crazy. So they're set up a type null here. All right, so down to three onto our turn. We will get a medal. So put a medal on the active. I think I am just gonna fill blower, get rid of the body build on dumbbells, and uh, I'm gonna keep the choice on the bench lele so you can't float stone it, and we'll just sick them more here. We just really need to find a savali. All right, so we find a savali. All right, so put down savali. We'll put down cabali on as well. Okay, so that's good to have. And let's see here. <clears throat> we'll go for the turbo drive for 120. Okay. Put a metal energy on the bench type null. Alright, so on to our opponents here. What I'm hoping now, since he took three price cards, is when he takes the last when he takes another EX knockout, we can take a knockout with Lele with our Cabalion. So is he another glow spot come down? Of course, okay. Hmm. There's a body and building dumbbells going to the active, which I'm actually fine with this. We have Phil Blower in our hand to get rid of it. Alright. There's a second more discard in his hand. So no Acer all this turn, no Guzma. Uh, what this could allow us to do is we can Ultra Ball uh, for a, a for another Savali. If it's in there, we don't I don't remember if it's prized or not. Our stretcher is already gone, so it'd be very unfortunate if it is gone already. Um, also, we could just use our GX tack. We can rebel GX with a knockout. There's a DCE, and we're actually going to see a uh, crossing cut GX here, uh, doing 150. That's unfortunate. All right, so 150. All right, so we we'll have to find one of our four Guzmas, a Rangaroo. Onto our turn, we find a a choice band. Okay, uh, so we will. Okay, let's think about this. 15. Um, we we'll choice band this guy. We'll field blower, get rid of the body build of dumbbells. Okay. We'll ultra ball. Discard one and two. And I think regardless here, uh, we want to swing with a non-EX attacker. So aggressive valley. We have one Guzma deck. How many Guzmas have we played? We played two Guzmas, one prize, right? So put a metal energy. I think we'll put metal on the Registeel. But if it was Guzma, they weren't in trouble. See, I'm going to metal on the Cabalion. It's actually probably a smarter move, I think. Uh, it's metal Cabalion. We'll put down Savali GX, and we will Rangaroo for three. And we hit the Guzma. All right, so we're going to Guzma, bring up his Glisspod. We'll set up our Registeel Retreat, and we'll take a knockout this turn. All right, there we go. That's what we need to see. So set up Savali here. We will uh, put a, a slide camera on the Lele, and we'll go for a turbo drive for 120. 
taking a knockout, uh, going down to two prize cards. Alright, let's put a metal energy on this Cabalion. And do we hit a Guzma off one of these prize cards? There's two chances of hitting it. And there's a choice band and the Guzma. Alright, so next time we can, the Guzma with the Lele, if he takes a knockout. And uh, we should be able to win the game. Alright, because Cabalion does have the Revenge Blast right now. Uh, Alright. All right, so there's Grass Energy. We could knock out this Lele and win the game. All right, guys, so let's see. Can we do this or not? Uh, if he ends us, we have a Ringaroo. We have a Lele. Uh, we've only played the one Lele. The Guzma's in the deck. Oh, it was only one out of four. Sorry, we've already played three. Oh, wow. It was a 50 chance. It's still like a coin flip. 50 50 shot of sitting it. There's a the Guzma. Bring it up for Gabalion, though. Oh, no. Oh, he, he knew the correct play here. Bring up our Cabalion. Uh, Glisspod will take a knockout. Oh, no. That's not good, guys. All right, how many Guzmas has he played now? All right, one, two. All right, that's not good for us. Okay. Oh, no. Because uh, first, uh, first person will knock us out. <sighs> All right, so an Ultra Ball going to start two cards out of his hands. Hmm. Discard the Sycamore and a Glisspot, okay? How many DCs have we played? We've played two, three, so we have one DC left, okay? He's going to go down to two prize cards, okay? There's a Wimp Pod going to his hand. All right, so we have a couple options here. Um, so 60, he's just playing his hand all the way down. So a Struck for two, okay. So 5, 10, 15. Wait, we still win! Yes, we still win. We get Goose off the Lele. Oh, no. There's E-Hammer. Okay. <laughs> All right. It comes down to, can we find a DC? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, send up, uh, yeah. We'll send up the Ringaroo here. On our turn, we get an Ultra Ball. Okay. So, Ultra Ball, discard the Choice Band and Lele. Okay. All right, let's see here. We have one DCE left. All right, so we have Red to steal. Yeah, we're going to have to go for it. We have to Guzma for three to see if we can hit it. So put down Red Steel. Well, Guzma, bring up his Lele. Uh, send up our Red Steel. We're going to a Ringaroo for three. And do we find the DCE here? And no, we do not. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. This is terrible now. Because uh, I think we pretty much lose now. Oh, man. I mean, we don't lose. But that was our one chance to win this turn. Because we have uh, 5, 10, 15. Plus choice bands 180. Uh, that hands hammer. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So, we'll have to pass here onto our opponent's turn. Does he have a way to retreat this Lele here? Guzma. Uh, Ace Roller can save him. A Grass Energy could get a knockout. There we see Glisspot coming down. Okay. And there's the heavy ball. Does he have? Does he have an energy to treat this guy? He's already played five, six energies so far. Okay. And realistically, he should hit one. It's not too uncommon. But he's only struck for one. All right. Does he find one off his struck for one? Maybe he already has Sycamore in hand. He just wanted a struck trying to get find Guzma. There's a choice man going to the bench. Close spot. There's a Sycamore. All right. So he didn't have the Guzma, obviously, because he would have played it. He would 100% played it. Uh, but does he find an energy this turn to retreat that Lele? But now, <laughs> what we can do is actually Rebel GX take a knockout on these guys. Because he has four now. That's, that's 200. Uh, Rebel will do 200. All right. Grass needs to be active. Who does he send up here? He's going to retreat to the Gliss Pot at 5, 10, 50, 20. And yeah, first impression. For, uh, actually, he's not even a knockout. Yeah. All right. So, on to our turn. We find a special charge. So, special charge. Uh, put two DCs in the deck, so one, two. All right, so put two in the deck. We will Ultra Ball discard one to two. We won't find anything. We will instruct for three. A Ranguru, don't let us down, buddy. And he didn't let us down, so put a DC on the Savali. We'll treat Savali, and we'll take a knockout. Oh, my goodness. That was a pretty good game there. So 230 damage to knock out this Glisspot and take it the game. It doesn't, it doesn't get any closer than that. That was a pretty good game there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. We did it. Oh, man. All right. But Savali, so that was a fun game. That was a fun game. We didn't hit weakness. We didn't cheat with the weakness. We, you know, played the way we were supposed to do, and we won the game of Savali. But... 
Well, see another game of Valley. That was a fantastic game. I don't think it, I don't think it gets any better than that. But guys, we'll see one more game of Savali here in a second. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Swing is Iowa, dude. Uh, so let's see what is going to happen here. It looks like he's playing this kind of fighting and steel deck. All right, so fighting and steel. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So we're gonna choose who goes first. And I imagine he's gonna go first. They always want to go first. And we'll see what happens. All right, so start a ring. <laughs> All right, so start a ringer here, which is not good. It's not. <laughs> All right. Um, the bad thing about this hand is we have like a bunch of stuff we have to discard and stuff like that. So let's see here. So there's one mulligan. All right. So puzzles, field blower, two choice band, flow stones. So I'm still not exactly sure what he is playing here. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Yes, we'll drop mulligan. Give me brick. Oh, double DCE and a Ryulu. Okay, so. He must be playing like Lucario, like the fight on Lucario thing. So Ryulu coming down, a uh, metal, uh, a counter energy. All right, so we get a sizzle here. Hmm. So Scissor can I think knock out Lucario? I think it has one ten HP. It might have one twenty though. Oh, I can't remember what. Oh, our hand is two DC though. So I'm putting out Scissor. I'll put a metal. Uh, do we choice ban the scissor or not? That's the question here. Or do we choice ban this guy? Maybe a psychic do more damage to a Tapu Lele later on. Maybe he plays Tapu Lele. Um, we'll put it on the scissor. And we'll just Sycamore here. Okay. So we find a metal. Let's put a metal on the scissor. Man, we don't have a way to retreat Ranguru next turn. Which is kind of unfortunate. Now we could fill a bench up and try to dig for a type null. Um, like we can put down memory blower one and two. Okay, it's gonna be really weird. We'll put down red still, we'll put down this guy, and we'll rank. We'll struck for one. We're looking for a metal energy here, and we find an ace roll. Now, ace roll might be still beneficial because he only does 90, which doesn't knock out a Ranguru, and then we send Scissor up, and the Scissor can go thrust for the knockout. So see Lucario come down. Lucario has that fight alone. It does 30 plus 60 uh, for each bench Pokemon we have in play, which right now we have one more in play, which is not good. Uh, Ridge is kind of like a liability. It's just kind of going to sit there, unfortunately. All right, so if I'm Bridget, uh, we see a Town come down, which means we take 30 damage for our Pokemon, and on to our turn. Uh, so... We can bring up this guy. So put a metal energy in this guy. But then counter uh, 6, 12. Hmm. I think we still try to take a knock out this turn. So Guzma bring this guy up. Send up our scissor. The only problem is he has a counter energy. He can take a knockout right now. So Gelt throws for the knockout. Okay. Taking a knockout here. But like I said, if he does get a counter energy, he can take a knockout on us because we are down in price cards. Lakara can knock us out. It does uh, 612, 150. He'll need a choice ban. Oh boy. All right, so let's see here. Now, if he does take a knockout, what we can do is. Uh, okay, so now he can't take a knockout anymore, so we're okay here. <coughs> we see a metal dragon to the active. Okay. We see a field boy going to get rid of the Po Town and the choice ban, I guess. Okay. We see a Tapu Lele going to use the Wonder Tag. And this is good. He's benching a bunch of Pokemon, which means Fight Island Lucario is not going to do too much. So we see Sycamore going to his hand. Uh, but every time we knock out a Rilu, that means he gets a Lucario that does more damage. So Special Charge, going to put a uh, his Counter Energy in his deck. Okay. <clears throat> now we see Sycamore going to discard a Registill. Is that the same Registill? Yeah, it is. Okay. Mine is just a promo. I forgot that. All right, so Ultra Ball. This will probably grab a Lucario here, I imagine. Oh, discard the Potown, which is good for us. So Lucario will come down. Okay. All righty. So here comes Lucario. And what we could do here is uh, he's actually can do Vacuum Wave for 50. And that's pretty much it. So another Cabalion in the field and Vacuum Wave for 50 damage. Man, Counter Energy Cabalions would look good as well. All right, so put down Bridget. <laughs> we'll grab one. Uh, type Null. I think that's all I really want to grab here. We could grab two. Ah, uh, man. Do we put down two or not? Yeah, I think I'm going to grab two. But then I need a spot for Cabalion. I really need Cabalion in this matchup, too. So I think I'm going to just grab one right now. I know it's really weird. We'll put a Metal Energy on Red Steel. We'll retreat into Red Steel. 
and we'll go for a turbo arm uh doing 30 okay we'll put a metal energy on this bench type null right now he's not doing any extra damage we have no bench pokemon we are going to be very safe of what we bench right now okay uh, next, we can put a DC on the type null, revolve it to Savali, maybe take a knock on this guy. There's the puzzle time. Okay, let's see what puzzle time gets him. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. All right, so what does a puzzle get for my opponent? So I'm going to put a rearrange top three cards of his deck. Okay, he must have a Sycamore or maybe maybe a Ringaroo or something. Uh, no, just going to back away for 50. I guess he just wants to make sure he draws into the right card next turn. All right, so in our turn, we find an Ultra Ball. Let's put a DC in this guy. We'll Ultra Ball, discard a Sycamore and Sycamore. We'll grab a Savali. And now we could take a knockout here, but I really don't want to. I want to wait until we really need to take a knockout. I mean, we could take a knockout, and then we power up, like, somebody on the, like, and then power up Scizor, and then Scizor could take a knockout. Um... But I think right now I'm just fine with just, like, use a turbo arm for 30. Um, getting another metal energy in play. So put a metal on the scissor. Okay. And onto our opponent's turn. Uh, because what we could do is uh, try to goozm up the Ryulu or the Cabalion. I'll take a knockout with our Savali. And then have this guy to knock out one of his other Lucario guys. And then use Registeel to knock out this guy. Yeah, because we could metal the, the Registeel this turn. And have Iron Head for 90 uh, to knock out this guy. Because I really want to find... A, I don't even know if there's another Guzma in the deck or not. Oh, man. All right, so vacuum away for another 50. All right, can we find a Guzma here? That's the question. I really want to find a Guzma this turn. There's a Cabalion. Hmm. Cabalion makes it where he does 120 the following turn, which is very, very scary. Um... Hmm. We can put a DC on this this guy. Then he can't take a knockout with six, seven, eight, nine. If he finds a um a choice, we'll take a knockout. So put down Scizor. We'll retreat. Well, let's just struck for one. Or do we put down Cabalion and struck for two? No, we'll struck for one. I still want to find the uh. Okay, there's Ultra Ball. That play would have worked anyway because I need to put a metal on the red still regardless. But let's send up Scizor here. We'll use the Gale Thrust for the knockout. Okay, going down to four price cards. And I'm fine if he knocks out the Scizor. If he knocks out the Scizor, we didn't have the same match of bench spots. We get a Psychic Memory. And another thing we look for is Ace Roll to pick up this damage Registeel to put our uh, more cards in our hand. So here comes Cabalion. All right. So Cabalion coming up. I don't know if he just has a bad hand or what. There's a counter energy going to the active. Uh, uh E-Hammer. Okay. Is that our third DCE? It is our third DCE. Oh my goodness. All right. So we'll see your Vigil Blast. I'm pretty sure it's taking a knock out here. I know he does the math already in his head. So 120. Oh my goodness. We have to dig for our last, our last, oh man, our last DCE. Maybe find a special charge that could be really useful. There's a Reg still. So Ultra Ball. Discard one and two. Um, Let's see. So special charge is in there. And we have the one DCE. So press done. We'll put down Cabalion. One struck for two. All right. Can we find a DCE? And we do not. So we'll, find a, we'll play Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. And we don't have the DCE, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Okay. So we'll put a Metal Energy. Do we put on Savali? Savali? I think it doesn't matter because we're going to Turbo Arm regardless. Or we could put a Metal Energy in this guy. Retreat. His counter energy doesn't work, so he has to retreat regardless this turn. See, so yeah, I'm gonna put a metal energy on the Cabalion. And it really doesn't matter. We're just gonna turbo arm regardless and just put an energy on this Savali. So yeah, we'll do 30. We'll put an energy on Savali. Alright, so 679, 10, 11, 12. Also, what we could do is power up this Orangaroo and Psychic for the knockout. Alright, so under opponent's turn here. Okay. Man, there's a flow stone going to the Lele, okay. There's a Guzma. Bring it up, Orangaroo. And he's going to take a knockout with his Revenge Blast. No, he actually can't. So pass on to our turn, okay? We'll get a Guzma here of our own. So I'm going to Guzma up his Cabalion to send up our Savali. I'll put a Metal Energy in the active. And we'll go for a Turbo Drive for the knockout here. 
All right, but this is still kind of scary because his Oranguru could take a... I mean, not Oranguru, his Lakara could take a knockout. Uh, I'll put a Metal Gear on Kabalion. Okay. We'll take a prize card going down to th uh, three. We get it in. And now if he gets a Lucario Counter Energy Knockout. So 6, 12, 13, 40, 15. Actually, I don't think he can take a knockout here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way he can take a knockout. Okay. This is a very interesting game here. Let's see. So we see a choice band. Okay. In. All right. So we see it in here. We'll get He gets four. We get three. And let's see what is going to happen here. So Stretcher, Lele, and in. Uh, there's Lucario. 6, 12, 15. Okay, he can only do 180, so pass on to our turn. Uh, we don't have another Guzman or deck, so I, what we're going to do here is just Turbo Drive. Uh, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Mm. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. What we could do is maybe go for in, try to find Choice Band, take a knockout this turn. We already played two, we only have one left in deck. Hmm, or do we save the inner and our opponent down? We already played four Sycamore. Goodness gracious. Uh, I think I am still going to end here. I think I'm going to end here. Just, yeah, just trying to find a choice to take a knockout this guy. We don't find one, but what we do find is a Metallurgy for our, our Ringaroo. And we go for Turbo Drive for 120. Okay. Put a Metallurgy on the Ringaroo. Just trying to get this Ringaroo powered up if we need to tackle with it. Which we might have to. We just might have to. Uh, if he takes a knock on the Lele, he then has two price cards off. There's a, a counter energy coming down. Okay. 6, 12, 15. Six, okay, he's still not taking a knock out this turn. So discards a Sycamore, something else. Okay. Hmm, there's a Lakara coming to his hand. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so Sycamore discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. Let's see what is going to happen here. Man, he can't take a knockout Lucario. Here comes Lucario. Fight alone. I don't think we'll do a knockout. Uh, 6, 12, 15, 18. He only does 180. If he had the Potown down, uh, the Potown would have knocked us out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that Potown would have been the difference here. All right, so it's in Lucario coming up. We could see a fight alone, but it's not going to be enough for the knockout. All right, so see 180 damage coming down. Okay. And on to our turn. Let's see here. We get a stretcher. So I think what we do here, we can't really retreat, unfortunately. Uh, but if he takes a knockout of Savali, then the Kabayong can take a knockout. So I think I'm fine with just going for a... I'm going to put a Fighting Memory on a Ringaroo. We will Turbo Drive <coughs> for the knockout. Okay, so we got out of two, one, two prize cards. Press, done. Okay, so we got out of two. We find a Acerola. All right, we could next turn Ace Roll this bench, Red Shield, pick all the damage off it, put the Metal Energy on Ranguru, and then you have two attackers ready to go. So, see, puzzle time here. Can he take a knock out of this turn? I don't, I mean, yeah, he can grab Counter Energy and Kabalion. All right, so Kabalion on the end. Okay. Oh, no, my game's messing up. I think my game just glitched. Please don't glitch, game. I think I saw it for a second. So, Potown coming down. Okay. We'll see a treat to Kabalion. But I mean, once he ends us, this Kabalion may pick a knockout. Uh, 6, 7, 9, 10, level 12. Um, yeah, I had to go Kabalion here to Revenge Blast for the knockout. Hmm. Man. So three counter just haven't played. Okay. What does our opponent do? So po counter catcher to bring up a Kabalion and an in. Oh no! All right, so he's going in us. Uh, all right, so the counter catcher coming to play here. We get a DC and a Type Null. Okay, so Ultra Ball discarded two cards from his hand. Uh, discard the puzzle and E Hammer. Oh, we have no we, we have no DCs on the field. So Reg still coming down. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do this turn. Is actually attack with the Rangaroo here. Uh, since this counter energy is now two energies instead of just one, because if we would have knocked out the Savali, a Rangaroo would not have been able to take a knockout this turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, we're going to have a rank 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I'm doing the math wrong. Oh my goodness, it's actually not a knockout. I've been doing the math wrong this whole time. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so Cinnamon Valley here. And I guess our game plan is just to go for it. All right, so put a type null down. We'll put a choice bin on the type null. We'll ring roof for two. All right, there's a metal. Put a metal on the type null. And we will turbo drive for the knockout here. Yeah, I was doing plus 30, but it's plus 20. Oh, my goodness. All right, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, man, it's not plus 30 like I thought it was. What was I, what was I doing in my head? I mean, I know what I was doing in my head. The wrong thing, obviously. Uh, but the thing here is we have we have four Sycamores and Discard Pallet in. Uh, there's a Metal Energy. He will be able to take a knockout here. All right, so Stretcher going to his hand. All right, there's Cabalan coming to his hand. He's going down to one price card. All right, so Cabalan coming down. They we see Sycamore discarding his hand, drawing seven new cards. It's going to come down to can we find a Savali or not. So Turbo Arm for the knockout, doing 30. All right, moment of truth. Can we find a Savali or not? If we find a Savali, we win. Actually, we don't win. Oh, Savali only does one, uh, 10. Oh, my goodness. We actually don't take a knock on this guy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't. We only do 120. He is weak to fire. And we're down, I think, all of our Guzmas. So send up our type null here. Okay. On to our turn. We find it in. So we'll field blower, get rid of the flowstone and the Potown. Okay. We'll put a DC in the active. Play an in and see what happens. So we find an in. All right, so what we can do here is slashing claw for 70. And it's going to come down to... Oh, wait, hold on. We have we have a Rangaroo. Come on, Struck. Give me something good, buddy. Okay, so put down the other type null. It doesn't matter, uh, really. We'll go for the uh, 30 less. It's not going to matter. So slashing claw. It's going to come down to what does our opponent have? Does he find a Floodstone and an energy for this Cabal to win the game right now? Oh my goodness. It wouldn't matter if I the valley. He has 130 HP. And he said, well played. There's the metal energy. And turbo arm. Oh, he missed the floodstone. And we will take the game. That was a crazy game. My goodness. I thought we had it. But my man, that was so close. So on to our turn. We will clashing slot, slashing claw for the knockout. And there we go, guys. My goodness. That was a crazy game. They're playing against this Cabalion Lacaro deck, which might actually have a really good shot in this format. So there we go. There is Savali deck. Uh, <coughs> um, I actually want to give a shout out to, I think, to Lee. Um, we actually played a game before this, and he asked me if I was recording, and I said no. I was just playing the deck around, just goofing around. Um, and then he was like, can we play? I was like, you want to play a real game? And he was like, yeah. So we played a real game, and there we go. Uh, the first game he did beat me. It was another close game. It was very close. And it just, his his idea is very interesting. This Lucario, um, yeah, this Lucario, Cabalion, counter catcher base deck is really interesting to see. And there we go, guys. Savali taking a game against Glisspod and a game against Lucario, uh, Lucario Cabal, which I think is a very interesting deck that we have seen Lee play here. Uh, but yeah, guys, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that was Main Deck Monday. Now, you notice we didn't play against any easy decks. Like, nothing that hit for weakness. Like, uh, like the memories and stuff like that. Like, we could play some of those games and show the deck off. But I'd rather play against games that we don't hit for super weakness. I think we still have advantage against, like, those weakness decks. Um, people that hit for psychic weakness and fighting weakness. We should have... Um, advantage to that obviously uh but guys there we go i think savali is a really good position in this format i think it's really strong we saw two good games with it and i imagine we'll see come out some more uh i think we'll see some good results coming out of it out of the lunch of intercontinental coming up this weekend uh but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you have a great monday Alrighty, bye all right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.